All right, so we've had some rain, so let's see what's popped up. We got some knockouts in bloom. And this opened the canna, canna lily. How pretty is that? And this bird of paradise, and then the other one that still doesn't look super happy, but it's it's coming along. It doesn't look as sad, but this one's real happy. We're open over here too. These all still look pretty happy. And we've got some, these are moonflowers. So we've got some moonflowers that have popped up. And I think some of these are the um, wildflowers that I put in here. And we've still got these. And the Veronica looks like I'm going to have to deadhead this and we'll see if that'll come back. I've never grown this before, so we'll see how to keep it in bloom because it's supposed to bloom throughout the whole summer. And then this salvia has really, it's really happy here. That's one plant. It's real happy. And then this one, a little different color. And that jasmine that I stuck back here seems to be happy back here, too. That's doing well. Man, these guys, I love these. I think these are so cool. And we got some more moonflowers that popped up. Just coming out of the dirt. And we got some more over here that came up. And let's see, more salvia, that's really happy. And this lantana, I think I planted this last year. Let's see, we've got, oh. so we've got, here's a moonflower. There's another one. Here's a couple more. So it looks like those are coming up there. Oh, yeah. And this angel trumpet is looking pretty happy here, so I think we'll keep that. And these are some of the wildflowers that I planted last year that just never died. I think they stayed alive all winter. And let's see. So we've got... Oh, here's a sunflower. And here's another one. And another one. And another one. And this monster lantana. This thing. This thing. Yeah, that thing is a monster. And then we've got a little smaller one over here. I don't remember planting this. So I'm not real sure what happened. But it's pretty, so I'll take it. And I... Extended the flower bed all the way down here. So we've got some more. Oh, here's another sunflower that's come up. And another one. Another one. I've got some back here too, I believe. Yep. And I put the wildflower seeds all along the back of the house. Doesn't look like those are starting to come up yet. We'll see if they do. Last year I did it. I had to do it twice, but as you can see when, and they did line the house just like this. So when they bloom, they do pretty well. We got a gladiola coming up here. This is one I planted after the first haul. So look how much that's come up just after that first haul. And there's another one. And another one over there. And then these shot up at the ground. Oh, 
Look at all these that came up. Those look pretty happy. These don't. And I'm not sure. This looks like all new growth over here. So that'll probably bloom again soon. And I need to deadhead some of this stuff. And I also put more wildflowers down here. So some of these, and I when I bought these, these are sun patients. And when I bought these, I got them on clearance. So they already looked pretty unhappy. So I stuck them down here and we're gonna just give them a little love and see if they'll come back. And I like these. And these are coming back nice, even though I winterized them a little late in the year. So yeah, we got some things coming up. Seeds coming out of the ground. Super excited. I'm probably going to have to go get some more plants to stick in here. I think it needs more. And maybe some more over here. But we shall see. So stay tuned.